Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how I created and customized the text template to the emails that I send out whenever someone signs my guestbook on Experience Cloud, my Experience Cloud portfolio. So to get started, you want to go to the setup section of your Salesforce org and search for flows. Open up the flows where you would like to uh, insert the text template or create a new flow. Once you are in Flow Builder, if you don't have the toolbox screen open, you want to click on this box right here in the top left to toggle it open. Then click on New Resource. And for the resource type, you want to choose Text Template. You would then fill out your API name, the description of your template, and the body of your template. I have one here to show you guys for as an example. This one is an email that is that will be sending out to the lead record owner when someone signs my gift book. As you see here, I have a banner that I inserted as an image. And then some resources that I inserted. So uh, a resource is pretty much a field that you can pull from a record um, to display in your email or your text template. And it makes it more dynamic and customized depending on what you include on there. For example, for mine, I have high record created by first name. Um, so that would mean the record owner's first name will be inserted here depending on who owns the record. And then I have the record first name, which is the person that signed my guestbook's first name, uh, followed by the fact visited your portfolio and signed your guestbook. To further customize this email, I also added the record description, which is the feedback that, that they provided on the guestbook when they signed it, along with their website and their email. You can add uh, many types of resources to your text template. I will demonstrate it here. I will uh, click on the resource box. Scroll down to global variables, and you can choose many different types of resources. For my specific example, I would choose the lead record. And I would like to choose um, the lead record school name, for example. I would hit, I would type in name here, and I would choose full name. And that will insert the, the record's full name, and then I can add additional text that I want. Uh, following that to, to further customize it. And of course, you also have your rich text toolbox down here to customize your text, adding links if you need to. One thing I want to point is regarding adding an image to your text template. Um, let me add an image so I can demonstrate it for you. So. I will click on the image icon and I would like to add this LinkedIn image here. As you can see, it shows up on my text template. Let's save it and activate the flow. And let's sign the guestbook and see what that looks like on the back end. So the leave record only, which is me, should receive an email and the LinkedIn image should show up. However, it did not. As you can see, it has the alternative text shown right here instead of the actual image. And the reason is because the image that is in this text template is not, uh, it's uploaded to Salesforce, but it is not a public and shareable image um, that is linked in there. So what you need to do is go to the setup section of your Salesforce org, click on the app launcher here, click on view all, scroll down and look for files right here. And once you open files, you will be able to see the LinkedIn image that was uploaded when you added it to your text template. 
you want to click on the drop down arrow on the right here, choose public link, and then create public link. That's the first step. So now the image is public. You want to copy the link and then navigate to that file. And as you can see here, it kind of shows up sort of like a PDF file where you can download the image. So this link right here is not the link you need. You need to right click on the image and click on copy image address. That's the direct link to the image that you need. So now go back to your text template. On the right hand side and the drop down menu, click on view as plain text. This will display the HTML code to your rich text template. You want to find the link to the image that um, you need to replace. So I've isolated it here with this is the code with the image link. Um, it's at the bottom, so it's easier to find. So usually it will be at the bottom or at the top, depending on where you insert the image. And you want to replace the image link and it's the link between the two quotations. So I've just highlighted the link and pasted the new link on there and hit done. Now I will hit save as and activate. So let's sign the guest book again. Okay. And I should receive another email. And voila, the image shows up. Another alternative that you can uh, use is actually using an image hosting website instead of Salesforce uh, files. You can use imgur.com to host your image and grab the direct image link that way. And you will replace the link the same way that um, you did with the other one. So you would replace the link here. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you have any questions uh, regarding what I showed you, please feel free to reach out and I will do my best to help you. Thank you.